guys, it's so good to see you again. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, this is just like the best thing ever. Whoa, was that? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this very pretty, sparkly piece, which is made using doilies. Doilies? What are they? Ah, let me explain. These are doilies. Yeah, I know. Traditionally used to put underneath dishes and so forth. Ah, not particularly fashionable at the moment. However, quite useful for art and craft activities we're going to use them as a mask. How exciting. Um, and you can get them in uh, any like paperware store, probably in a local supermarket. So I'm really annoyed because I spent ages trying to work out the best place to put this stupid microphone. And then I realized that it wasn't even working for much of it, um, even though I tested it. Testing, testing, testing. So I apologize for the varying sound quality, but you will forgive me because the art is just so fantastic. The first thing you have to do is get a pack of doilies. The one that I got had three different sizes, large, medium, and small. Ah, I'm gonna use the medium size and the small size. You can do this with paint and just sponge over the doilies, but I'm gonna use felt tips and you want to think about the color scheme that you're going to use. But you can do any color scheme that you want. So I'm going to actually do a rainbow color scheme. It's really important when you do this kind of thing that your stencil or your mask doesn't move. So I'm just going to stick it down with a little bit of blue tag. Okay, now it's the moment of truth. Let me take it off. <laughs> Nervous. Looks jolly nice, I think. That looks rather nice. Yeah. Draw a circle right in the middle. You can use a compass or draw around something like I did. Then draw straight lines coming into the centre to separate out some petals. And then I'm going to do some sort of creases in the petal. And I am going to also just outline the petals. Notice that the colour of each petal matches the colour around it. Matching the outside ones, I'm just going to do this kind of thing. Now remember, it's always as if it's coming right from the middle. Okay, so you have to change the angle of your strokes. If you need a ruler, you could use a ruler. Let's say this is a ruler. You could use a ruler to help you navigate that if you find it difficult. And if you want, you can add some more outlines. You can see that we've got some spaces here in the doily. Now yours may have this similar or something a bit different. So we're going to use a little bit of PVA glue and we're going to stick some nice sparkly doodahs all around. Next, I put down some glue in order to sprinkle on some glitter. You can use glitter glue for this as well, but I just find for covering a larger space, it's better to use this kind of technique. Okay, now that's all finished, we just need to wait for it to dry. And then afterwards, we're gonna dust it all off. Very exciting, another big reveal. Woohoo! And one of the reasons that it's important to let it dry is because if you've got different colored glitters, then when you tip it off, all the different glitter is gonna mix. Mm. 
And now for a last thing, what I'm gonna do is cut around the edge and then I'm going to mount it on a piece of black. You can mount it on any color that you want. Of course, my scissors. I hope my scissors don't make any strange noises this time. Anyone who saw the last video will get that joke. And if you didn't, why didn't you watch it yet? It's wicked. Oh, look at that. That is lovely. Then I'm, I'm gonna use my little guillotine now to cut a nice straight edge there. Obviously you can do it with scissors, but if you do then maybe draw a line with a ruler first to get a nice straight edge. So I wasn't very happy with the way the glitter was looking in the middle. So I put some more glue in the areas where it was thin and then I sprinkled some more glitter on. And I'm also gonna put some more around the edges where it was a bit thin as well. Here it is, sparkling in the sunshine. Thank you very much for joining me. Hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it, hope to see your versions of it. Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed this video. Please give me a like on YouTube if you don't mind. See you next time, bye. So nice. So I'm not allowed to say that. Say it in an English accent. It's so nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm filming. Do you want to be in outtakes? <laughs> Shh. You just want attention. You just want attention from me. <laughs> you can do this. Sparkly floor. Um, can someone close the door there, please? Can you just wait one sec and stop, yeah? Can you close the door? Just wait, just stop kicking for a minute. Close it properly. You didn't subscribe yet, why not?